Hi, this is Mike Seeley, author and presenter of Demystifying the Loan Process, here with this week's Mortgage Moment. Well, remember last week we talked about mortgage burning parties, and we talked about starting with like a $300,000 loan that was at 6.5% interest and a 30-year fixed rate, and you'd be paying $1,896 a month. And you do that for 360 months, and at the end of those 30 years, poof, you've got a mortgage burning party because your house is free and clear. Now, what is the truth about mortgages? How many of you out there have had a mortgage burning party? How many of you out there have kept a mortgage for more than 10 years or 15 years? That's right, not many of you. Actually, here in California, the average is 2.74 years. That's how long people keep their mortgages. So I'm going to show you something today. If you know, and you don't always know, but if you think there's a possibility, you won't be keeping your mortgage longer than 30 years or 10 years or 5 years, then there's other options for you. Let's take a look at them right now. Let's say, for example, you know you're only going to be in this home for 10 years. So you might consider a 10-year loan that pays equally the same amount each month for 10 years. Now that rate, instead of being 6.5%, would be a little bit lower. It would be something along the lines of 6.375%. And what would that payment be? That payment would be $1,871. Well, you can see right here, there's a savings of $25 a month. Now, if you can save $25 a month, which is $300 a year for 10 years, that's $3,000. Why would you pay an extra $3,000 every 10 years? Well, one reason is you might do it for an insurance. But the reality is, if you can save a little bit of money there, what could you do with an extra $300 a year or $3,000 over 10 years? That'd be a great IRA start for a retirement plan. Let's go further. What if you knew that you were going to keep the mortgage only five years? You think the rate would be better? Right you are. That rate could be as low as 6.25%. And again, these aren't exact numbers, but it will probably be lower. Again, how much would that payment be? You would have a payment in that case of $1,847. Now, there's another savings of $24. Now, is that worthwhile? Another $280 a year? Probably so, or actually $290 a year. Let's say you know you're only going to keep that loan for three years before you refinance, you move, or any other reason. Guess what? Again, because you're guaranteeing that you'll make payments for three years at this low rate, that low rate would be 6 and one-eighth percent. Wow, that's another savings. How much is that savings? Well, your payment would be $1,823, an additional $24 of savings. So as you can see here, we've jumped from $1,896 all the way down to $1,823. A total savings between these two of $73. That's almost $1,000 a year if you know you're only going to need that loan for three years. Now, many of you out there in the crowd are saying, well, that's fine, but what happens when that arrow hits the end? That's a great question. <laughs> that's a great question. And what happens is the rate generally becomes an adjustable at that time. It could go up or it could go down. All three of those have that possibility. So for you conservative-minded out there, actually staying with the 30-year loan is, in a sense, an insurance plan. That in case you don't refinance or you don't move, then you've got the security of knowing what your payment will be forever. But for the most people who know the reality of life, there is constant change, then get, saving some money anywhere from $300 to $600 to $1,000 a year is quite worth it. What could you do with that kind of extra money? Invest it, buy a nice dinner, help your kids through college. There's many possibilities. And that's what you're going to look at, these crossover points. And we're going to go further into crossover points next week when I talk about individual numbers here and tell you when is a 7% loan better than a 6.5% loan. I think the answer just may surprise you. Well, thanks for visiting this week's Mortgage Moment. And again, I'm Mike Seeley, author of Demystifying the Loan Process. And again, if you've got questions about today's presentation, You'll go back to the original page and just go to AskYourLoanGenie.com and ask any questions that weren't clear about this or any question you have about mortgages. Again, look forward to seeing you next week on The Mortgage Moment. Goodbye.